And moving on, Israel announcing the investment of some $35 million towards rebuilding the infrastructure around the Western Wall complex in Jerusalem, or the Kotel. Good news for visitors to the Holy Land and its holiest of cities, Jerusalem. Prime Minister Naftali Bennett announcing a new plan to rebuild the infrastructure surrounding the Western Wall, or Kotel, at the weekly cabinet meeting on Sunday. No word yet, however, on the specific applications of the cash, including whether any funding will be allocated towards repairing the dangerously neglected Mukrabi Bridge, linking from the Western Wall Plaza to the Temple Mount complex beyond the wall. That said, we do know that some repairs already starting on the bridge over the summer, and the general overview of the new budget known to be centered on the gender-segregated areas. Much to the chagrin of rights activists like the Women of the Wall and other supporters of the pluralistic prayer space whose construction has been approved but indefinitely frozen. In fact, because of this exclusion, ministers Tamar Zandberg, Nachman Shai, Amar Barlev, and Elazar Stern abstaining from the vote on the plan entirely. And deputy head of the World Zionist Organization, Yitzhak Hess, calling the move a shockingly shameful abandonment and a tremendous missed opportunity for democracy, equality, and Zionism. Still, the relevant ministries already approving the 110 million shekel, or $35 million budget. According to the plan, the money is to be spent over five years on developing and upgrading new educational plans, transportation infrastructures and services, and handicapped accessibility to the plaza through new technological platforms. Bennett explaining that as the Kotel is one of the holiest and most important sites to the Jews as well as to foreign visitors, the plan will, quote, continue upgrading urgent infrastructures and assisting in encouraging masses of additional visitors. ILTV Plus, your news from Israel and more 24-7. Start your free trial today. Subscribe at ILTV.TV and watch from any device.